Hey players, it's Lee from Play Guitar Academy. I'm here for another Why They Work Lick video. We had a request for some Clapton style licks and I thought we could do that, but we could also go all in and feature that whole time period that Clapton was a big part of, the time period that shaped all of guitar from there forward. That's 1968 to 1969. Some cool, cool stuff for you. I've got licks in the style of the Allman Brothers, Led Zeppelin, Cream, Santana and Jimi Hendrix today. Uh, before we get started, don't forget to download my big four scale pattern worksheet. This is going to help you master the fretboard and play all these licks wherever your hand happens to be on the neck of the guitar, not just where the tab is written. Okay, on to the licks. Let's check out lick number one. This is in the style of the Allman Brothers. We're in the key of A here, uh, and this is a bluesy type over a, a one, four, five. Ready, go, one. And again. Let's take a look at this lick. The first lick is up on the 17th fret. Uh, that's our A note, then we're in the key of A for this lick. And we're going back and forth between the root and the fifth. So both strong notes, just arpeggio notes at this point. Um, and they're together here, which is a nice thing too, because we're going to talk about how you can play this with slide as well uh, in standard tuning. Pretty neat stuff. Our next note comes in here where we're going to uh, slide up. This is uh, 13 going into 14, a slide into 14. 14 is a C sharp. In the key of A, that's our third, major third. So we're, we're outlining straight from the dominant chord, the major third there. And then we end on the root again. So this is basically a big arpeggio coming down. Next, uh, in our next measure, very different sound than our first measure. This has got more of a minor pentatonic sound. So we have, that's our flat seventh, twelfth, that's a G down to the E, which is the fifth, back up to the G, which is our flat seventh, to the root. And then now we have 13th fret bent a half step. That's bending the minor third up to the major third. This is something you hear all the time in blues. You know, those kind of sounds. This is just up here, up high. And then ending on the root note again, the A. So, so far, Bunch of arpeggio notes with a slide into the third. Then we have minor pentatonic with a bend up to the third, minor third to major third. And then let's look at the last part of this lick. So here we have um, our G note, which is our flat seventh. And then we have um, our E, which is the fifth, back up to the A, down to the E. And then we have the 10th fret, that's a C note, that's our minor third here, without a bend. This is going for the full minor pentatonic sound here and on the root. So this is a very, very inside sound. Most of these notes all fit perfectly over the chord, except for those minor thirds that you, we bend up from or play them straight like we just did. Uh, but what you could do with this, even in standard tuning, you could use a slide here This works out really nicely for slide guitar. It's all over kind of the major pentatonic pattern one voicing uh, here uh, with your pinky up at the 17th fret. And that slide from 13th fret up to the 14th puts your slide right in position to grab that root note on the G string. So then we come down here with the slide, 12th fret. We can slide up to 14 on, on, the, on the, B, the D string. We're already at 14 for the next note, the root note. Then we slide back for 10 and then up into 12 there. You can play that either way. Both sound like the Allman Brothers. Led Zeppelin was another band that started off in 1969 as well too. Uh, and we're going to be taking a look at this lick here.
Let's take a look at this here. So we're in the key of E. So pattern one's at the 12th fret, pattern two, pattern three. We're starting in pattern three up high, an E minor pentatonic there. Uh, first note is the 17th fret, that's the root note. And then we have the most interesting note of this whole thing. We go to the 19th fret on the high E string, that's a B. So that's our fifth, but we're bending up a full step to the major sixth. Uh, last week, if you uh, want to go back and check out our blues lick video that we had last week, we talked a lot about going up to the major sixth when you're in a minor tonality. It has a Dorian feel to it. So that B bending all the way up to C sharp gives that kind of a major sound, but we come back to our root note. Next bend is at the 17th fret now on the high E string. That's A coming up to B, so we're bending from a weak note, four up into the strong note. And then our note that we come down and land on is on the 15th fret, and that's a D note right there. So that's a flat seven. We're gonna bend that up to the root. And then come down to a G note here. Now that is our minor third. So this is the first time we're hitting our third in this. So we really hear how minor this lick is. It's got a very minor pentatonic lick at this point. And then we're gonna bend our A up to B on this octave again. And then do our flat seventh, our D note, three times here into the root. So the whole thing. Very Jimmy Page sound. Some of his best licks have those kind of soaring, bending leads, and then back to a minor pentatonic sound. So now this was for the request for Eric Clapton kind of style licks here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna be playing in the key of D minor. This is more of like a cream type sound. Okay, let's take a look at this lick and figure out why it works. So we're in the key of D minor here. Uh, in Cream, um, White Room was a song very similar to this, uh, and it had a, a minor chord progression. So we're, we're playing strictly over minor. This isn't a blues, a traditional blues, we're playing over dominant seventh chords. We're playing over a minor chord progression here. So our first notes um, are in pattern two, and we have a bend on the 15th of the high E string, full step bends. We're bending from a G note up to an A note. Well, that's the fifth in a, on a one chord in D minor. So we're bending from the fourth to the fifth. We're going kind of weak to strong into chord tones. And now those were all quarter notes. If you take a look here, now we've got a bunch of 16th notes, one little eighth notes in there, but a lot of 16th notes too. This style uh, where we you go from slow to fast, slow to fast, uh, it catches your ear a lot. He was very, very smart in how he did things like this. So what we have here, the first four notes are 13, 15, 13 on the high string, then back to 15, that's C, D, F to D. Okay, so in the key of D, that's the flat seventh, the root, the minor third back to D. So these are all very inside. And I'm playing, I'm doing a little bit of a legato with this little hammer-ons and pull-offs. I'm also doing a hybrid picking. Uh, so I'm getting that F note with my middle finger as well too. And now we have um, 15, which is the G note. That's the fourth, going back to the minor third, back to the flat seventh. And I'm doing a pull on that too. I'm pulling with my um, with my hybrid picking with my middle finger, and I'm also doing a pull off to come back to the 13th, and then going back to the flat seventh. So a lot of flat seventh in this. This has all been in pattern two so far, but we're gonna start to move right here. 15, that's our D note, root note, flat seven, 14th, there's our fifth. Now we're gonna come, we're gonna play the, um, and now we have the G note, our fourth, sliding up to fifth, to flat seventh, back to fifth, minor third, root. So very minor pentatonic on the way back here. A 
but these slides are really important. Let's take a look at these slides. So we're gonna slide from 12 up to 14 with our second finger. That leaves our first finger free to catch the 13th fret on the B string, the C. And slide back. So our middle finger on the G string, that's our transport. And this is very typical of Eric Clapton style soloing where you have soaring, easy rhythms, and then fast rhythms, back and forth, big dramatic changes there. Okay, this one's gonna be a lot of fun. This is our Santana style. Look, uh, Santana was starting around the same time. Uh, this album's coming out at 69 the first Santana album. Uh, and one of the things that you hear a lot in Santana songs is a minor one chord going to a major four chord. It's a very distinct sound. It's a borrowed chord. These are not uh, regular diatonic chord progressions here. It has a very distinct sound to it. And you also notice that he uses full minor scales, not just pentatonic scales too. So, and a lot of rhythm. If you take a look at this line here, we have a lot of 16th, 8th, 16th, 8th, back and forth between the two. And they, they're all staccato. See the little dot on top of it, not on the side, but on top of the notes. That tells you that they're played quickly. Think of an orchestra when you see the violins plucking the notes instead of bowing the notes. Here we have 18, 20, 17, 18, 15, 17, and then the 18 on the uh, B string back up to the 15th fret on the high E string. So that is what we have B flat to C, uh, we have A to B flat, we have G to A, and we have F to G. And then finally we end that line with um, the 20 bent full up. So that C bending all the way up to the D. Well, this is over a, a G minor uh, chord here. So let's see, we have B flat to C. Uh, so it's minor third to fourth, second to minor third, root to second, flat seven to root. Awesome, right? One, two, three, four. Next, we have that same line again. Now we have 18, 15 on the B string and 17 on the G string. That is, that's our F, our flat seventh, our fifth, and then our C, right? Which is our fourth. That's minor pentatonic there. So he's made the shift from full minor scale. To minor pentatonic and take a look at this next measure. Look at all the ink on that. <laughs> so we have 16th note triplets. That's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're doing six notes um, spread evenly uh, on each beat. Most people would do this as a hammer on, as like a legato. Now Santana kind of evolved out of a jam style band. So this is a, a, a lick I'm sure he's played a million times here. Playing them that fast is going to be the challenge for that, but we end on the 18th fret on the B string, which is the flat seventh bending up a full step to the root, to the strong note there. So really neat lick. And our last lick is from Jimi Hendrix. In 69, we're getting into like Electric Ladyland, those kind of things. Uh, a lot of minor sounds in this, and this is no exception. Uh, this style lick, uh, it starts off here in C minor. So this lick here has got some triplets in it. It's got some soaring full step bends in there and also has some notes that are bending up into themselves. What we have here, if we take a look, our first group of licks, we have a little triplet on beat four. One, two, three. And that is um, our root note, C. Our minor third, that's an E flat. 
and then our, our fourth, which is an F. All of those are in the minor pentatonic scale. And these happen to be sitting right on the, ex the, the, the pattern two extension, which a lot of people like to use. Uh, we move to the next measure, and on that same note we ended on, the F, we're going to do a full bend, which is bending up into a G. That is a strong note. That's a, uh, the fifth of C. C minor. We'll do it twice. Then it's a full bend and release. And then we have the minor third back to the root. So we have really stayed in minor pentatonic here. Now, in the third measure here, uh, on this C note that we landed on, we're going to do a full step bend. That's a C up to the second. So this is natural minor. It's not minor pentatonic anymore. We're bending into the ninth and then releasing back and going to the flat seventh. So that bending up into the ninth is a very Hendrix sound. So far we've got right there. It's kind of, it kind of feels like it's floating for a second and then resolves back. And then we go down to the flat seventh. Now let's take a look here. Now we're doing something. You, you hear this a lot. Um, Ted Nugent does this a lot. So a lot of that the 70s bands, they probably heard this from, uh, from one of Hendrix's songs. And basically what we're doing is we're walking up. We're walking up the natural minor scale. The eighth fret on the high E string, 10th fret on the high E string, uh, 11th fret, and then 13th. So that's root, second, minor, third, fourth. But what we're doing to make these more featured is we're going to play them as a double stop with the note that we're playing and then uh, a whole step below together. But we only start there. We take the lower note and bend it up a full step so that our first finger is holding the note solid on the high E string, but our B string bends up to match it. And then you can hear when the waveforms fall into place. So that tells you how far you need to bend. And we'll do that for each note of this little walk up run. So we do it at the eighth fret at the 10th fret, 11th fret, and at the 13th fret. And you can let them ring or, or make them a little staccato either way. Both sound great. So the whole thing Well, there you go. Thanks for playing along with me today. Let me know what kind of lick videos you would like to see. And most importantly, don't forget my free big four scale pattern worksheet so you can get out of the ruts that you're in and start to open up the fretboard today. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.